98 Honda Prelude, VTEC, manual transmission. Went ahead and took it to Honda as soon as I got it and put on new rotors, new brake pads, new tires. They tuned all the valves and made sure that my timing belt was okay. I installed Bosch 4 Platinum spark plugs because I really like them. They worked really well in every car. Put in a cold air intake, uh, did the short shift conversion kit, alarm system, new radiator, uh, new headlights, new taillights, LED conversion for the taillights as well. Um, I did a fog light conversion for the front as well and I repainted the rims to make them black because my rims are pretty old. I replaced all the speakers in the car, new power steering pump. As you can see on the right hand side, it's brand new. New wheel bearings in all the wheels and the alarm system. That's, that's pretty much all I've done in the car with the exception of a total of eight gaskets that I've replaced in the engine because it's a 98 and needed new gaskets. Car runs really, really exceptionally well with the exception of my AC. This video is called an AC delete because we're going to not completely remove the AC pump altogether, which is the correct way to do this. I should preface with that, but today, in the interest of time and saving money, I'm only taking the belt off of the AC. Now, this is the first belt, this power steering belt, and that one runs straight down to your crankshaft. There is a second belt on your engine, which is the one right down here. This one runs down to your AC, down this way and then it runs over that way to your crankshaft. Same place this one does. But this one has two uh, devices connected to it before it goes to the crankshaft. This goes straight to the crankshaft. So our goal today is going to be to take the belt off of the air conditioner and replace it with a 37 inch belt, giving you much more horsepower and much more torque. What you're going to need for this job is a 10 millimeter wrench 12 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, and probably a screwdriver. It might be a good idea, like a flathead. So let's get into it. First thing that you want to do is remove this little guy right here. Once you remove that one, your plastic panel right here on top of your head will pop off. Set that off to the side. Make sure you don't lose that bolt. It's only a 10 millimeter. It should be pretty easy to remove. Then you want to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here. That's your tensioner. You're going to find tension the whole way removing that because it is a tensioner bolt. Once you remove that, you'll have the ability to remove this lock bolt right here, which is your 12 millimeter. And you'll find that you can access that now because you took this plastic panel off. Now that you can get in with the 12 millimeter, remove that one. Wait, yes, remove that one. And the next one you want to remove is this bolt down here, but let me be clear, you don't want to put a wrench there. Do not put a wrench there at all. You want to go ahead and put a wrench oop, let's see, in here. I'll zoom in. That's the power steering pump itself, and where you want to actually go is right on that bolt right there. It's a 12 millimeter, and it was a little bit tricky to get to. Once you get a 12 millimeter on that guy, you should be able to take the AC pump and wiggle it up and down because all the tension has been released from this lock, that lock, and then your initial tensioner. And you'll find your belt now is loose. So once you take your belt off, you can kind of like wiggle it off, use a flathead screwdriver to pop it off there. You can slide the belt down. Now something I might advise you doing before you proceed any further is taking this power steering pump, you can kind of like wiggle it, uh, I'm sorry, the power steering uh, fluid container. You want to wiggle it loose and pop it up. You can take it and kind of take the whole thing off, and you want to move it like over this way, like jam it between these two cables right here. It'll stay if you hold it, so you can kind of take it over and do like that. I don't want to do it now because power steering fluid is really nasty and corrosive. So you have your power steering stuff really all out of the way. So you've got your first belt off. Let's get to your second belt. You're, you'll find that in order to get to your second belt, you have to remove the tension, which is located only on the alternator. Once you remove the tension on the alternator, you will then be able to remove that belt. So let's start with the alternator tension. It is located, let me be clear, this is the engine block right here. Go down right here, and there are two bolts directly below the alternator, right there. Now the one on the right hand side is your alternator belt tensioner. 
or your second serpentine belt tensioner, which is the one that runs to the AC and the alternator and the crankshaft. Only touch the one on the right, as the one on the right is your actual tensioner. The bolt on the left is only for mounting. So undo that bolt on the right hand side and you will be able to uh, remove the tension on the alternator from the first step. The next thing you want to do is remove the lock bolts on the alternator. So let's show you where the alternator lock bolts are. The first one that you want to remove is located over on this side here. Now I told you that there was a bolt right here directly below the crankshaft, or I'm sorry, below, below the pulley for the uh, power steering pump. But if you go a little bit further down, reach your hand down a little more down here, Let's see if I can show you, then you'll find that there's actually another bolt right down there. It's a big 14 millimeter bolt. That's for your alternator. Go ahead and remove that big 14 millimeter bolt after you removed the tensioner down there. Once that's all done, you can remove, oh, where is it? Let's see. Yep. So directly below the belt down here, below the second belt, you'll find underneath, uh, not underneath the pulley, but directly to the right of that alternator pulley, there's another bolt right here, right where my finger is. Go ahead and, and loosen that one, and that will totally remove the tension from your alternator, and you'll find the alternator and these preludes actually slide up and down, and the same with most Hondas. So you'll then be able to release the belt here. Once that belt can be taken off, because you already took this belt off, once that belt has been taken off, you can go ahead and remove it by pushing it down and accessing it next to your tire well, and kind of pulling it down there. You may want to jack up the car, and you'll be able to pull both belts out, and you'll eventually have to put your power steering belt back in first, and then you want to put your new belt, which is your 37-inch shorter belt, only, only around the alternator down to the crankshaft. And once you do this, I think you'll gain a general logic of how it all works, but if you don't understand any of these steps, I would be glad to help you through it. Contact me in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer. Good luck and have fun.